tools. Uh, maybe Jules Holland has always been shit. Maybe, maybe I'm getting old and jaded and cynical. Maybe that's what's happening. Oh dear. So we didn't watch Jules Holland. Instead, we watched um, several really awful films. One of them was called Death Wish 4 with the one and only Charles Bronson. Um, one of them was called The Uninvited, which was about a... Um, <laughs> it was about a ship that gets hijacked and um, there's, a, there's a cat. A cat is... It has escaped from a bio lab that's had um, experiments done on it, which is so it's mutated. And when the cat gets angry, uh, another little cat comes out of its mouth and um, and attacks people. And it becomes a sort of vigilante cat. So these um, this group of sort of happy go lucky. Um, attractive young women uh yes yes there's some dancing uh yes there's some risque um um, 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 um goings on with the younger gentlemen on the boat as is tradition with these awful b movies and uh the cat starts killing off the people one by one um got some great performances in it highly recommend it it's called the uninvited uh quintessential 80s uh uh viewing give it a go and then to top it all off we watched uh, a film called uh fateful findings by the one and only neil breen now if you've not heard of neil breen i will i'll show you i will show you the magnificence of neil breen um i like this i like that we've made it a tradition because uh, this film along with his other work gets better with every viewing. Neil Breen is a, I think he was an architect, this guy here. He was an architect and then I think he's in his 60s now. And this, this man, <laughs> this man called Neil just decided to become a filmmaker. Let's just have a quick look at his biography here. Neil Breen, yeah, he started his... Oh, sorry, I beg your pardon. A real estate agent. Uh, oh, and architect. I was right. Trust yourself, Adam. Fuck's sake. Before switching, partly to being an independent filmmaker. Breen has not attended film school. You'll be shocked to learn. Um, he deliberately makes independent films. He is, as he has stated, he doesn't want to be part of what he calls the Hollywood Insiders Group. Breen self-financed, wrote, directed, edited, and starred in all of his independent films. Double Down, I Am Here Now. Oh, have I seen that one? Pass Through, Fateful Findings. I don't know if I've seen I Am Here Now. As you can tell, they all involve some inappropriate relationship with uh, a younger, much younger woman. Disappointed by its creation, the almighty being that created man, the very, the very lofty, very lofty concepts these films and where he inevitably plays a messianic figure sent to do good on earth um by hacking into and i quote the government that's that's his that's what he does hacks into the government uh i think that's one of the lines anyway well how does he put it now he puts it very eloquently uh, human form interacts with the various troubled, wicked, and sinful people on his journey to Vegas. It's just, it's so, it's just joyful. I know I'm taking the piss out of it, but, and it is awful. But it's so, it's so awful. It's just brilliant. The, the editing is clunky. The, the, the dialogue is just really, really, really bad. There's not, there's, not much justice I can do just sort of chatting into a camera and talking about it. You have to really experience it for yourself. Um, yeah, Neil Breen's films are generally perceived as very bad and amateurish due to their poor production value, bad writing, acting and editing. It's very likely Breen gained a lot of fame due to this perception. Yeah, and it's kind of a... It's kind of that Tommy Wazoo who wrote the film... Um, you know the the room 
the infamous uh, like worst best worst movie ever made it's that sort of um Tommy Wazoo, it was always questioned, like, did he intend the room to be hilarious? And he always, I think he claims that he did, but it's not written for laughs at all. But it's now gleaned such a great cult following that people actually go to these screenings to, it's kind of like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. People get dressed up and there's a lot of points in the film where people will shout things out, shout lines along with the actors. Um, for some reason, there's a lot of spoon artwork in in the room there's these sort of weird sculptures i'll show you um if i could the room spoons images yeah these sort of pictures in the background <laughs> it's uh it's gonna be hard to tell here but i'll try and See this here, these sort of framed pictures of, it's just very, it's very odd. It's very odd. There, look. So, and these are in quite a lot of the art design. These. Hey man, welcome in. Happy uh, 2022. How you doing, mate? Have you seen The Room at all? Just chatting about uh, really shit, great films. So yeah, at this point, whenever these get shown, during the screenings, this happens. You bring your own plastic spoons and you just throw them everywhere, which is uh, probably not not. Uh, yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> probably not the uh, best. I, I do. I, I hope they recycle them. I do hope they recycle them. But yeah, it's uh, it's great. So Neil Breen is on par with. I'll, I'll let's let's just see if we can find some. Um, Neil Breen. Have you heard of Neil Breen, drunk, uh, drunk guy? This is the sort of, uh, this is the calibre of acting. Uh, I will, just a trigger warning, this does contain uh, scenes of suicide and awful, awful acting. So you've been warned, if, uh, if this triggers you in any way, please turn off now. Uh, because this is it's pretty it's pretty heavy stuff and it's quite um it, it can be quite hard to watch here we go jim jim call 911 jim uh, jim how could you have done this jim I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? I can't help you out of this one, Jim. With all we've been through, I can't pull you out of this one. That's that one. Um, and Folks, then we got the a big end, one today. We got a big, big... The, um, Man, it almost comes off as a bad joke about suicide. It's it, yeah, big one. Inkbox just launched that's four now. That's kind of one of the most whole new way to it, apply one of the more infamous bits of it. I watched this before. on New Year's okay. Eve, by the way. That's that's how I got onto it. But the end, I think the ending is just fucking magnificent. This kind of comes out of nowhere, and he basically reveals that throughout the film, he's been hacking into government mainframe computers and exposing them for corruption and hypocrisy and this out of nowhere he he's sort of alluded to as um a bit of a a, a genius he's uh constantly on several laptops in his office he's reading several books at a time and then this is the sort of the 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 climax of the film so he's called all over the world he's called a press conference I have discovered more information than any hacker ever has. Ever. What I have found will shock you. So that's the, uh, this, these are, <laughs> so that's the same 
that's the same background there. Just so you know, that's like, so he's standing there on the back of there. So he's addressing the crowd and then there, I'm not sure what he's doing now. He might be, he might be messing around with the time, uh, the time, the, the framing of this. He may be just deliberately trying to set you off kilter a bit. So you're not quite sure where you are, but this, these are the people he's referring to. So as you'll see, this is the head of the, well, I, won't, I won't say too much, but these are all important people. Here are the files and supporting documents and supporting truths. I think the clapping is from people off, off camera. The factual documents. I'm releasing these files to the public today. Money, payoffs, and greed were always the priority of my company, like many companies. I'm afraid of going to prison. I mean, I'm not sure why this, uh, <laughs> this is why it just gets better. It's great, isn't it, man? Uh, f I'm, I'm honored to pass on the, the, uh, that I got, well, a friend of mine, uh, Vile Stuff, who's a mod on this stream, he got me into Best of the Worst, which is, uh, the channel on YouTube is called Red Letter Media and they review I've never seen dialogue of this caliber. It's fucking great. So this popped up on their their episodes, Neil Breen. So I recommend that channel. If you if you like this, then it's just a bunch of guys that watch really shit films and then they review them afterwards. It's yeah, it's all they now know my yeah. crimes. I am resigning today as your senator. The people. Any kind of new version of MST. What's that, mate? Who elected me deserve someone who cares about them and the country. It's Many so of my jarring. other fellow incompetent senators must resign now also. My releasing these files today will not endanger any innocent persons, but they will identify governments and corporations that have committed fraudulent the, um, immediately the bank. Oh God, this, I think this is my, oh, there's another scene which is incredible, but I love this guy's delivery. <laughs> I resign today as president of the bank for their lying, their greed, their injustices. We were all under pressure to operate in a deceiving way and cheat the customer. Goodbye. Today. <laughs> Goodbye. Uh, Mystery Science Theater, it was an old sci-fi show where they'd have little silhouetted people providing commentary throughout really bad B-grade sci-fi flicks. Ooh, I've not heard of that. Mystery Science Theater. I'll make a note of that, mate. Mystery Science. They're just giving interviews and shooting themselves at a press... <laughs> That's still going on. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's still going on. <laughs> It just carries, yeah. There's, there's more. I am submitting my. Not all of them shoot themselves. To be fair, some of them go away, um, and do it in the privacy of their own home, like this as lady. As congresswoman, I and other insurance companies. Yeah, you got. He, he had the decency to do it. Indicted. He didn't subject people to see it for crimes we've committed. The people deserve much better. <laughs> See if you can spot the mistake in this bit. Our crimes are about to be disclosed. Now I'm not, I'm not an expert, but this, sh this should be, this, sh yeah, there's these. Lying, You've done that wrong, mate. Cheating of our customers. 
fraud. I really wanted just a bit like the horn to sound Me there. And many of my fellow Wall Street brokers fast have been pill, lying, yeah. <laughs> cheating, and scamming investors out of their money. I mean, just to be clear, anyone watching this, I'm not laughing at suicide. We cannot continue to let them slip through our failed justice systems. I'm leaving now rather than going to prison for the rest of my life. I mean, all it's just it all, it's all just bad. Best interests for the purpose of greed. My favorite uh, bit, I have to say, is the salad. Uh, God bless the internet, the people who've um, the people who've uploaded these videos. God bless them on their families. That's good. We're gonna get off. We'll get off the suicide stuff now and just into more. Uh, this is a bit of. I think he's put this in, um, just to lighten the mood a bit because I think this comes after the suicide bit, and he. I think this is. I don't even know if this was planned. It's one of those great moments in a film where you are just watching two people exist on screen, and the the lines between the actors and the characters and the relationship sort of disappear and you're just watching life. All this time, I haven't been working on my next book. So it's just a bit of a, uh, just a bit of fun there. Just a bit of, it just sets the I tone for the rest the of the scene. Uh, on the bright side, if someone tries to kill themselves based on what they learned in this movie, they're going to be, <laughs> I don't understand. Um, it, it, you don't understand. Mate. Like, I, I recommend it. Watch. I recommend get a few mates together. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime. I probably. It's the thing with Neil Breen is he's very cagey. Doesn't do a lot of interviews. He's a bit of an enigma. Very stringent copyright restrictions. So I may or may not be cancelled after showing these live on Twitch. I don't know. He might, he, I, he might know. Oh my God. He might be watching me. Uh, Don't tackle it sober. Oh I know I have, God. and it's, it's very, very enjoyable. But it would make it much more fun. 